Good morning. Thanks for joining me today. As you can see, it's warm enough to be outside. So far, pretty quiet. Wishing everyone a happy Mother's Day. And that'll be the topic of our practice today. We're just settling into the body, stretching. I'm in a chair in my backyard. You can be in bed, standing up, seated on a mat. Noticing the feet planted firmly. Sending our awareness up through the body. Pausing to inhale and exhale deeply. And sitting with our awareness a little bit longer when we encounter any place of tension or lack of ease in the body. Rooting in the body is a way to quickly develop focus so we can practice. It gives us something really concrete to focus on so we can shut out the mind chatter. <clears throat> And now stretching out our awareness with sound, listening to the sounds within the body. Noticing the sound of the breath, deep and easy. Maybe your tummy's rumbling or digesting. Noticing any other little sounds we make that often go completely unnoticed by us. Again, slowing down the mind to develop focus and attention. Stretching out our awareness to sounds further along. I hear wind, cats, birds, leaves, traffic. Big fat bumblebee. I love this. Again, for the purposes of slowing down my mind chatter, I'm focusing on my immediate senses. And as we settle into the body, bringing up thoughts of mothering and being mothered, 
This is not a Hallmark project or event. It's filled with complexity, a lot of positives and negatives. Being a parent is wonderful, exhausting, humiliating, humbling. Being a child is also wonderful and stressful as we learn to make our way through the world, understanding what we want and need apart from the needs of our parents. Coming to understand that our parents are also damaged people and approaching our relationship with compassion, forgiveness, wonder, and a focus on what's been positive And if that's not possible, a focus on the positive mothering influences in our life. Looking for places in our thinking where we have given and received care, where, uh, where others have put our needs before their own in order that we may flourish. And I'm not referring to sacrifice. Either I come first, or you come first. We're looking for examples of the type of mothering where one puts another's needs ahead of our own as part of a flourishing so that when I enable you to flourish, I also enable part of me to flourish. There is lots of flourishing opportunity to go around. We're looking for a thought process that gets out of the it's me or you who's got to win. So that's a foundation of mothering, is that when I give so that others can flourish, I also flourish. It doesn't mean sacrificing what's important to me or what makes me joyful. So looking for a way out of that sacrificial divide. How can I continue to give to others in a way that enables both me and others to flourish? So as our thoughts continue, we re retain focus in the body with breath, returning to scan for tension and releasing, listening, seeing. Noticing in our thoughts places where I have both met the mark and made errors, where others have made errors and also met the mark and observing this with compassion and equanimity. Allowing ourselves to feel great gratitude for where we have been supported and where we are supporting. Okay, 
just notice how wonderful it feels to be grateful. giving thanks for our mothers, for the mothering that we've received from others, for the wondrous realization that it really takes a village to flourish and a world to flourish. And how magnificent it is when we are all connected and committed to the flourishing of both ourselves and others. Finally, sitting in compassion for where we have made mistakes and where others have made mistakes in regards to us. Feeling compassion and forgiveness for both our mistakes and those of others. And connecting to a deep source of strength within us that allows us to rise above places where we feel hurt, mistreated, where others have failed us. Committing to rising above that so that we're not stuck there, so that we can keep giving our highest and best to self and others committed to the flourishing of our community as a whole. Allowing any sensations of grief and sorrow to rise and let's sit with those and just breathe deeply into those from our place of strength and wholeness Thank you for sharing this Mother's Day meditation with me. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.